We're here with Michael Harper of Harper Motors, looking at what really matters when you get your car serviced. So, Michael, how long have you been in business? I've been in business now 30 years. Um, I started off in High Wycombe and through expansion programs over the last sort of 30 years, we've um, ended up here in Maidenhead. And how long have you been in Maidenhead? I've been in Maidenhead since 1997. Oh, quite so, a long time, 15 yes, years, about yes. half the time you've been in business. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So you've been a, you're a well-established company, you've obviously been around for quite a while, and um, what type of services or what type of um, things do you do for people? Well, basically, we do nearly everything apart from bodywork. So the, the servicing intervals normally um, split into two, which is either an oil and filter service, which is an intermediate service, or major service, which is, in other words, a full service. Um, and that depends on mileage and um, you know how many miles that you do um, a year. We do cam belts, um, air conditioning now. We got so frustrated with other um, trades where we needed things like air conditioning doing for us when a car was in for service and we'd be sort of told well we can't do it till sort of two or three days time um, and of course while the customer's car was with us at the workshop it seemed you know sort of logical to try and get it done all at the same time rather than sort of say we'll come back another day for have the air conditioning done so we invested in the air conditioning machine um, and the same um, with the diagnostic machine you know, we were sort of getting other people to sort of come and do our diagnostics, and it got to a sort of stage where we phoned them up to say, "Can you come and look at this?" Well, we can't do it for two days. Well, you've got the car here for servicing, um, and it was so frustrating that we couldn't get things done, you know, much quicker. So we've invest invested heavily in the equipment ourselves um, and the product knowledge and training. So this is the Auto Logic diagnostic system that you have. How does this actually help you? Well, basically, this is, this is a platform here for interrogating the um, different ECUs on the car. So, basically, we start off by just going to automatic detent detection, which detects then exactly which vehicle we're actually working on. Um, and once this boots itself up, it gives me all the information about the car. So this basically, doesn't matter what it says on the badge, you can just plug this in and it'll tell yeah, you this, everything. Yeah, this gives me everything from the chassis number to the manufacturer's year. Um, and basically it also, it tells me what ECUs are on this specific car. Um, and then we press continue and there it gives us all the different control units in blocks. Okay. So this, this, without this equipment, how effective could you really be as a mechanic on a modern day car like this? Very ineffective, totally. Yeah. You are then just down to trying to work out what could, and it's just so, so difficult to try and predict what what component has, has gone down, that you, you literally could spend hundreds of pounds or even thousands trying to get to what's cured it. So this is why you now specialise specifically in the Volkswagen Audi group of cars, which, what's that, that Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat. Skoda and Seat, yeah. Yes, uh, I mean obviously as we explained before, you know, I started off sort of 30 years ago and for the last 20 years we've specialised in the Volkswagen group, mainly because, you know, they're, 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 20 years ago they were a very, very good mark, um, very, very popular, um, so we continued that on. But of course, technology has moved on very, very quickly too, and Audi were one of the front runners with a lot of this equipment. Um, and now we're here trying to repair them. Vorsprung durch Technik, as they say. Absolutely, yes. So you can do, obviously, all the servicing, diagnostics, so if people have got unusual sounds coming from the car, they can come along. Um, I know in cars I've had over the years, you've done things like suspension, tyres, air conditioning, obviously, um, is a specialist thing these days. You need to be licensed yeah. to do it. Um, and you specialise in what type of cars mainly? Mainly Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat, which are part of the VAG group. Um, mainly because, as I said before, we have the diagnostic equipment that will allow, allow us to do nearly everything on that car that a main dealer could do. We do have diagnostic machines for other cars, but obviously they are limited 
to actually what we can do with that equipment. I was going to say, I've got a Ford and you've never had a problem fixing anything I've had wrong with a Ford. No, because we the equipment that we use enables us to go so far. Unfortunately, you know, you've been lucky that the parts that have gone wrong with yours don't need more advanced diagnosis or more repairs because sometimes you the items need to be coded which needs a specialist equipment then to be able to code the different items in which a lot of the time if we haven't you know if we can't do it we normally know somebody who can so you know we get around it that way okay great